hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to make uh this very cute hat boy so i used the soft yarn for the clothes this is orange yarn and the blue yarn and uh the normal yarn for the shoes black one and you need one for the same for the skin color and also you're gonna need the safety eyes two eyes and a little pom-pom if you're gonna put on your hat and i hope you enjoy this pattern so let's get started okay so we're going to start making the foot uh which is the shoes and as usual we're going to start with the magic ring and six single crochet into the magic ring in the first row so in our second row we are going to increase in every stitch and we're gonna have a total of 12 single crochets so you you'll do two single crochet uh in every stitch so you're going to do single crochet and then repeat again in the same stitch do another crochet so you're gonna have two single crochet okay also in the same stitch you're going to in the other stitch you're going to do two single crochet then again the same you do two single crochet okay you're also going to do again in the other stitch two single crochet and two single crochet okay so you're going to repeat that until here so again you're going to do two single crochet the same stitch and another two single crochet Okay, and the last one also to single crochet okay so now we have a total of 12 single crochet so I'm gonna remove my marker yeah I think I have to use another marker that one is a little bit not good so I'm gonna use this one okay so I'm gonna put it here okay so in our next row which is our second row uh, we're going to start increasing and um, we are going to do single crochet then increase in the second stitch single crochet increase single crochet increase uh, for a total of 18 single crochet so you're going to go here in the first stitch so you're going to do single crochet in the first one single crochet then increase in the next one so you're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch so you're going to go and then again in the same stitch do another single crochet okay and then the next one also you're going to do single crochet then increase in the next one so you're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch okay so you're going to repeat the same pattern until you get here where your marker is okay so after you're done with your third row in our fourth row uh, we are going to do two single crochet in the next stitches i mean single crochet in the next two stitches then increase in the third stitch single crochet in the next two stitches increase and then we repeat the same pattern so we're going to do single crochet the in the first two stitches okay and then increase in the next stitch okay so you're going to do in the same stitch do another single crochet so you're going to do single crochet single crochet okay then increase in the next one so in the next stitch you're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch so one and then two okay so you're going to repeat the same process so you're going to do single crochet single crochet increase single crochet single crochet increase until you get here where your marker is okay so after you're done with our fourth stitch in our fifth stitch we're going to do single crochet in the next three stitches then increase in the fourth stitch then repeat the same pattern all over for a total of 30 single crochets okay so we're going to do single crochet in the first two stitches in three stitches so one two three okay then increase in the next one so you're going to do 
si two single crochet in the same stitch so increase okay then again one two three and then increase so two single crochet in the same stitch Okay, and then you're going to repeat the pattern all around until you get here where your marker is. Okay, so after you're done with your uh, fifth stitch, in our sixth stitch, we're going to do single crochet in the next four stitches, then increase in the fifth stitch, and then you repeat the pattern all over again. So you're going to do single crochet, one, two, three, Four, then increase in the fifth stitch so you're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch so increase then again one two three four then increase uh, sorry my hand is a little bit misbehaving okay increase here okay and then uh, you're going to repeat the pattern all over until you get here where your marker is okay so after you're done with your sixth stitch in our seventh stitch we're going to start decreasing so you're going to do uh we are going to decrease uh seven times and then we do single crochet in the in the other 26 stitches so we're going to decrease uh we're going to, so decreasing means you do you do two uh, single crochet I mean two stitches together so you're going to decrease one two three four five five times so and in this case you're going to go here in the front loop pull through go in the next stitch front loop pull through and then you're going to pull through all over again so that is one decrease and then we go again in the next stitch pull through the other stitch pull through that is another to decrease same case in the next one that decrease going pull through pull through okay three and then we go to our fourth decrease okay so you go here pull through pull through and then pull through all three okay and then we go again in the next one next stitch okay so this is our last decrease pull through okay so those are going to be our five decreases and then after there we're going to do single crochet all around until here so you're going to do single crochet single crochet all around until you get here where your marker is okay, so after you're done with your seventh row in our eighth row we are going to decrease three times and then we do single crochet in the next 25 stitches so we're going to have a total of 28 single crochets uh, in the whole round so we're going to decrease uh, three times so you're going to go here in the front loop pull through go again pull through so one decrease okay then you're going to do another decrease two okay and then we're going to do our last decrease oh so last one Okay. so as you can see we are going to we are making the shoe and also so we're going to go again all through we're going to do single crochets uh, in the remaining stitches so you're going to go single crochet single crochet single crochet all around until here where your marker is okay so after you're done with your eighth row uh in our ninth row are uh, we going to do to decrease uh three stitches together and then we do single crochet all our in the next 25 stitches for a total of 26 single stitches 
okay so you're going to go in the front loop of the first stitch pull through in the second stitch front loop pull through and also in the third stitch front loop pull through okay so you have one two three four four stitches and then you're gonna pull through all the three all the four of them okay so after that you're just going to do single crochet all around okay and you're going to do that until you get here where your marker is okay so after you're done with your non row in our 10th so we're going to do a uh, eight decreases and then 10 single crochet in the remaining 10 stitches so you're going to do here so you're going to start in the front loop decrease go again pull through and then pull through one and then another decrease two then another decrease three so another decrease four another decrease five another decrease six another decrease seven and the last decrease okay so after that in the remaining 10 stitches you're going to do single crochet all around so you're going to go single crochet single crochet until here where your marker is okay so after that after you're done you're going to put here uh, we're going to change to the yarn at uh, the trouser color and in my case I'm using this blue soft yarn so I'm just going to uh, cart this yarn and join the other one okay so you have to join it in a way that it's invisible so I'm just going to cut a little bit here and join the other one with a knot so this is like how I usually do it so everyone has their own style how they do it so I just tight like tight enough to make sure the other one is uh, I start with the blue one immediately so I'm just gonna tie it like that and then uh, I'm gonna cut the end here with a pair of scissors a little bit like that so this knot is going to be on the inside so it will be uh, invisible and then I'm just going to put here my marker so that I remember where I started so after that uh, we're just going to do single crochet all the way around in the front loops only and in the front loops only as you see when we were decreasing so you're just going to go here and do single crochet in the front loop go in the other front loop do single crochet okay again here in the front loop do single crochet so you're going to do here only in the front loop until you get here where your marker is okay so after you're done uh with that with our 11th row we are going to uh, in our next row so now you have 18 single crochets so in our 12th row we're going to do four decreases and then do single 10 single crochet all around so we're going to do our first decrease so you're going to go in the front loop here so one decrease one another decrease two okay another decrease three and the last decrease which is the fourth decrease four 
four okay and then after that you're going to do single crochet until here for the next 10 stitches so you're going to have a total of 14 single crochets so after you're done with that you're going to fill here you're going to stuff your foot okay so that it, it looks i mean you're going to stuff your shoes so that it looks good and then uh from there we're going to do single crochet in, in our next row which is uh, row 13 until row 31 it's going to be single crochet all around so we are, when you're done with your second foot don't cut the yarn so that we're going to uh, join the two feet together so uh, your foot after you stuff it, it's gonna look something like this you see the way it's sitting and then when you're done it's going to be this length and I'm going to show you how to do this the bottom part okay so after you're done with your leg you're going to join the two legs together so we're going to do a chain four so you're going to do one two three four okay and then we're going to take the other leg and then here where you left it off you're going to go here and do a slip stitch or single crochet we're going to go a single crochet okay and then we're going to put our marker over here so that we know where we started and you're going to do single crochet all around so you're going to go single crochet single crochet all around Oops. okay so single crochet single crochet so you're going to go all around all around okay so after you're done with this row you're supposed to have a total of 36 single crochet so I'll show you uh, how we do it when you get where we joined the two legs together okay so here together So you have to make sure it looks neat and uh, you have to make sure also you go through uh, all the stitches in a leg so you have another stitch over here okay and then when you get here on your chain four you're going to go here on the loop on the first loop and do four single crochet so you're going to go one one and then another one uh, two and the next one going three oh sorry three and the last one here four Okay, and then you're going here to continue on your leg so you're going to go again single crochet here single crochet all around single crochet all around so you're going to do that until you get where your marker is Single crochet. So you have to make sure the leg, uh, the legs look right. You can see, okay. Then you have to go single crochet.
Okay, and single crochet, single crochet, single crochet. Okay, so when you get here again, well, where you your other set eight, so you're going to go again here for single crochet where you did. So you're going to go in the first stitch and do one. Two and three and the last one four and so here so you're going here when you get your marker is so you're going to continue like that or through uh in the next um from row in the next two three four five five rows so this will count as our first row so in our second i mean this is our second row in our third fourth and fifth row you're going to continue all around single crochet single crochet for a total of uh 36 single crochets so i'll see you guys when you're done with your uh, fifth row so that we uh start uh doing the body together so after you're done uh, with the trouser, in our sixth row, you're going to change to the t-shirt yarn, uh, which I already did. Okay, so which is going to be our top yarn, top part yarn. Okay, so after you're done with your uh, with your legs and the uh, bottom part, which is the trousers, we are going to start uh, with the top part, and with that you're going to change to your next yarn, uh, which is your t-shirt yarn or your shirt yarn, and we are going to do single crochet all around in the uh, front loops only, like the way we did when we're done with the shoes. So you're going to go to the front loop and single crochet. Okay, also go again in the next front loop and single crochet all around. Okay, so you're going to go to do like that all around until you get where your marker is for a total of 36 single crochets. So after you're done with that uh, in our seventh row, we are going to go single crochet in the back loops only all the way around for a total of 36 single crochets. So you're going to go here at the back loop and do single crochet okay then go again in the other back loop do single crochet Oops. single crochet okay also in the next one back loop do single crochet single crochet Okay, so you're going to go like that all around until you get here where your marker is. Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, in our eighth row, we are going to go single crochet in the next five stitches, increase, single crochet in the next five stitches, increase all around. Okay, so we're going to go here, single crochet, single crochet, one, single crochet, two, single crochet, three, single crochet four and then five okay and then after that increase in the next stitch which is the sixth stitch so you're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch okay and then you're going to repeat that again so you're going to say one uh two okay and then uh three four five 
increase in the sixth stitch so you're going to do two single crochet in the next stitch so you're going to do like that all around until you get here where your marker is okay so after you're done with that now you have a total of 42 single crochets okay so in our next row which is our ninth row until 11th row you're going to do single crochet all around for a total of 42 single crochets so I'll see you guys when you're done with the 11th row so that I show you how to do the 12th row. So after you're done uh, with your 21st row, in our 22nd row, we are going to start decreasing. So uh, we're going to go first in our 22nd row, we're going to go four single crochet, single crochet in the next four stitches, then decrease in the fifth stitch and repeat all around for a total of uh, 30 single crochets. So we're going to go one, Two, three, four, and then decrease. So you're going to go in the first front loop, pull through in the second front loop, pull through, and because then uh, you're going to go again for one, two, three, four, and then decrease again decrease okay so you're going to repeat the same pattern all around until you get here where your marker is okay so after you're done with your 22nd row in our 23rd row uh, we're going to go single crochet in the next three stitches then decrease in the fourth stitch and repeat the pattern all around so we're going to go one Two, three, okay, and then decrease in the fourth stitch. So you're going here in the front loop, pull through, go in the next front loop, pull through, and pull through all the same. Okay, so you're going to repeat the same pattern. You're going to go three single crochet, decrease in the fourth stitch all around until you get where your marker is for a total of 24 single crochets. Okay, so after our 20, uh, 23rd row, in our last row, which is our 24th row of the body, we are going to do a uh, single crochet in the next two stitches, decrease in the third one, and repeat the pattern all around for a total of 18 single crochets. So you're going to go single crochet, one, two, and then decrease in the next two stitches. We're going to go in the front loop, pull through, go in the next one, pull through, and pull through all the three, and then again, one, two, and then decrease. Okay, so you're going to repeat that pattern all around until you get here, and when you're done, you're supposed to stuff your uh, body and uh, make sure it looks good and the way uh, the way you want it to look like. And then uh, I'm going to show you how to do the head. So for the head, we're going to start with the magic ring as usual in the first row. And then in the second row, we're going to increase uh, each stitch. So we're going to have a total of 12 single crochets. So you're going to go... Uh, two single crochet in the same stitch Okay, so one So in the next one you're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch case in the third stitch three so you have to make sure uh, your your magic ring is tight enough so that it doesn't leave a uh, hole three and then again two single crochet in the same stitch four
Okay, and then same thing here. Increase. Five and the last one. Increase again. Six. Okay, so I have to make sure there's no hole here at the center. So I'm going to pull this yarn that I usually leave uh, for my magic ring. So I have to make sure it's tight enough. Okay, so I have to pull it through. Okay, to make sure to close the gap. Okay, so after that, in our third row, we are going to do single crochet, increase, single crochet, increase all the way around until you get where your marker is. So you're going to go single crochet, then yeah, increase in the next stitch. So this yarn is a little bit misbehaving. So uh, I forgot to tell you, in the head, we are using the skin color that you're going to use. You're going to go single crochet, then increase here. So you're going to go to single crochet in the same stitch. Okay, again here you're going to go single crochet and then increase in the next stitch. Okay, and then you're going to repeat the same pattern all around until here where your marker is okay so after you're done with your uh, third row in our fourth row we're going to do two single crochet and i mean single crochet in the next two stitches then increase in the third stitch all around for a total of 24 single crochets so you're going to go one single crochet single crochet in the next stitch and then increase in the third stitch so you're going to go to single crochet in the same stitch okay and then you're going to repeat the same pattern all around so you're going to go to single crochet increase all the way around until here where your marker is so after you're done with that uh in our fifth row we're going to do single crochet in the next three stitches increase in the fourth stitch then repeat the pattern all around for a total of 30 single crochets so we're going to go single crochet one two uh, three then increase in the fourth stitch so we're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch okay and repeat the pattern all around so single crochet in the next three stitches increase in the fourth stitch all around until here where your marker is so guys uh, this is how it looks like after you're done with your fifth row so uh, you know how the pattern goes like so in our sixth row we are going to go single crochet in the next four stitches uh, then the, uh, increase in the next one all around and we're gonna go with that pattern like that so I'm gonna show you here so our sixth stitch we're gonna do single crochet in the next four stitches then increase six times for a total of 36 single crochets and then in our seventh row we're going to go single crochet in the next five stitches increase six times for a total of 42 single crochets in our eighth row we're going to do the same six single crochet then increase for a total of 48 stitches in our ninth stitch so we we're gonna keep increasing in our ninth stitch we're gonna do seven single crochet increase in the eighth stitch six times for a total of 54 single crochets and then in our tenth row we're going to do eight single crochet increase six times for a total of 60 single crochets in our 11th row we're gonna do nine single crochets increase in the 10th stitch six times for a total of 66 single crochets and when you're done here increasing from row 12 here until row 21 you're going to go single crochet all around for a total of 66 single crochets okay 
so i hope you guys understand the uh the pattern if you've been following how i've been doing the rest of the body you can fully understand uh how what this means so until you reach your 21st row here from 12 to 21 it's gonna be single crochet all around you're gonna stop increasing so i'm gonna see you guys when you're done with your 21st row to start with our 22nd row which we're going to start decreasing and then i'll show you how to do it so i start my body and this is how it looks like and so i'll see you in the 22nd row okay so after you're done with your 21st row uh in our 22nd row we are going to start decreasing and we're going to do single crochet in the next nine uh stitches then decrease in the next and repeat the pattern all all again until we get where your marker is okay so we're gonna go from here we're gonna do one single crochet two three four five six Seven, eight, and nine. Okay, and then decrease in the next two stitches. So you're going to go in the front loop here. Just go in the front loop. Go through, go in the next one, front loop only, go through and go through all the three of them. Okay, as you can see, it's very neat when you decrease in the front loop only, and you're going to repeat the pattern all over again. So, you're going to do nine single crochet, decrease in the next two stitches, nine single crochet, decrease all over until you get here where your marker is. Okay, so after you're done with your 22nd row, in our 23rd row, we are going to do single crochet in the next 8 stitches, then decrease in the next 2 stitches, and we're going to repeat that 6 times for a total of 54 single crochets. Okay, so we're going to go 1, 2, 3, four five six seven eight and then decrease in the next two stitches Okay, and then you're going to repeat the pattern all over again. So eight single crochet, decrease in the next until you reach here where your marker is. Okay, so after you're done with your 23rd row, in our 24th row, we are going to do single crochet in the next uh, seven stitches, and then we're going to decrease in the next one, then uh, single crochet in the next seven stitches, and then decrease. Okay, so you know how the pattern is going. So you go single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then decrease in the next two stitches. Okay, and then you're going to repeat the same pattern. So seven single crochet, decrease, seven single crochet, decrease until you reach at the end. Okay, so now in our 25th row, we are going to do a uh, single crochet in the next six stitches, then decrease in the next one, and then single crochet in the next six stitches, then decrease in the next two stitches. Okay, so we're going to do single crochet, one, Two, 
three, four, five, six, then decrease in the next two stitches. So you're going to do two stitches at the same time. Okay, and then you're going to repeat all over again. So six single crochet, decrease, six single crochet, increase six times until you get here where your marker is. Okay, so guys, after you're done with your 25th row, this is how it looks like, as you can see. So by now, you know how the pattern goes. So I wrote down like what you're gonna do in the next rows because it's pretty the same thing. So in your 26th row, you're gonna uh, go five single crochet, then decrease in the next two stitches six times for a total of 36 single crochets. Then in our 27th row, you're going to go four single crochet, uh, and then decrease again for single crochet decrease six times for a total of 30 single crochets in our 29 uh, 28th row this is 28th row you're going to go three single crochet okay then decrease then repeat the same thing again three single crochet decrease for uh, six times for a total of 24 single crochets and in our 29th row you're going to go two single crochets and then decrease again to single crochet decrease six times for a total of 18 stitches okay so after you're done with your 29th row you're going to stuff so make sure you stuff your head uh however big you want it or however you want to shape it and also you can put the eyes you can place the eyes um whenever you think it's right for you and also when you're done with that in our 30th row you're going to do single crochet decrease single crochet decrease single crochet decrease six times for a total of 12 single crochets and in the last one in the last uh, row for our head which is row 31 you're going to decrease six times you're going to decrease 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 six times for a total of six stitches so after you're done with that guys uh you're going to stuff your head and then I'm going to show you how to do the hands and how to do the finishing. Okay, so after you're done stuffing the head, this is how it looks like. And now we're going to start with the hands and we're going to start with the magic ring and six single crochet in the magic ring in the first row. Okay, and then in the second row, we're going to increase each stitch. So we're going to have a total of 12 single crochet in the next uh in the next row okay so you're going to come here then you're going to increase so you're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch the single crochet also in the next stitch you're going to do two single crochet two Okay, same case in the next stitch to a single crochet three okay two single crochet in the next one Okay, next one also you're going to go increase increase okay and also in the last stitch you're going to do again two single crochet Okay, and then to make sure there's no hole in the middle, I'm going to pull the zion tight to close up that hole. Okay, and uh, it's going to be like that. Okay, and then here we're going to go again in our third row. 
so in our third row we are going to do single crochet increase single crochet increase single crochet increase six times for a total of 18 single crochets so you're going to do single crochet and then increase in the next stitch so you're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch okay then you're going to repeat that single crochet increase until you get here where your marker is okay so after you're done with your third row in our fourth row we're going to do two single crochet increase two single crochet increase all around for a total of 24 single crochets so you're going to go here one single crochet in the next stitch also do to another single crochet then increase in the third stitch so you're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch going to do in the same stitch one so the reason why like i have to use uh to do this so hard i like uh, my my amigurumi tight so as you can see in my head it's a tight there's no holes in it that's why i like doing it so tight okay so anyway you're going to repeat again two single crochet increase two single crochet increase all the way around until here where your marker is so after you're done with your fourth row you're supposed to change to the pink color which is the t-shirt color and uh, in our fifth row we are going to do single crochet all around in the front loops only so you're just going here in the front loop you do single crochet single crochet single crochet just in the front loop same case here not too tight okay and you're going to do single crochet all around until you get where your marker is uh, for a total of 24 single crochets so after you're done with your fifth row in our sixth row we are going to do a single crochet all around but in the back loops only so here uh, you're going to go here in the back loop and then do single crochet okay and again go here in the back loop so you do single crochet okay so back loop means you have here the front loop and the other stitch uh, the other yarn which is the back loop so you skip it uh, don't do this one both of them so you just go here at the back loop just do single crochet okay then you have another one single crochet and you're gonna you're gonna repeat that all around until you get here where your yarn is okay so after you're done with your sixth row in our seventh row uh, we're going to decrease so we are going to do two single crochet decrease in the next two stitches two single crochet decrease all around until you go where your marker is so you're going to go one two and then decrease in the next two stitches so you're going to go there pull through and then pull through the next one so you're going to go again to single crochet one two and then go in, pull through, go in there, the front loop, pull through, and pull through all the three of them. Okay, so you're going to repeat uh, all through here, two single crochet, decrease, two single crochet, decrease, for a total of 18 single crochet. Okay, so after you're done with your ninth row, this is how it looks like, and uh, you're going to stuff your hand as you go. So I think it's just gonna, uh, you're supposed just to stuff the bottom part. So that is for my preference. I don't like uh, my hands uh, too, you know, too big. And I'm just going to stuff the bottom part. So in the next one, uh, in the 10th row, we are going to do uh, 4 decrease and then 10 single crochet. So 4 decrease, it means you're going to go here in the next stitch. So you do 1. Two, three, 
three decrease and then for the last decrease okay so after you're done with your four decrease in the next 10 stitches you're going to do single crochet all around okay and when you're done with that which is the 10th row in the next rows which is uh, row 11 until row 25 you're going to do single crochet all around and then you'll be done with your hand and you're gonna end up with something like that looks like this so in the next video I'm gonna show you how to do the sleeves here and also together with the trouser sleeves so guys as you can see I'm done um, putting the doll together this is how it looks like and I'm gonna show you well I'm gonna tell you how to make the heart the hat it's quite easy uh, as you can see so the hat for the hat I it's the same pattern same pattern as the head so it's the head pattern until row 11 which is gonna be a total of 66 single crochets <coughs> sorry okay so from row 12 uh, you're gonna do 10 single crochet then increase then repeat the same thing again 10 single crochet increase in the next two stitches six times for a total of 72 single crochets after you're done with that in row 13 you're going to do 11 single crochet increase in the next two stitches then repeat again 11 single crochet increase in the next stitches six times for a total of 78 single crochets and then in row 14 you're gonna do 12 single crochet and then increase in the next stitch then repeat that the same pattern again six times for a total of 84 single crochets so when you're done with row 14 in row 15 and 16 you're going to do single crochet all around for two rows for a total of 84 single crochets and you're gonna be done with your hat so after you're done with that uh, you're gonna join uh, this together the head and the body together so I already did that and I did I used just a yarn to embroider the eyebrows and also I put my eyes together and also I embroidered the smile or the mouth and what I did so I'm gonna show you how to do these ones and this also so what you do I'm gonna show you here uh, uh, for the shirt so what you do you yarn over so you, we're gonna do double crochet all around so yarn over and then go here in the next stitch okay and then you're gonna pull through sorry we're gonna yarn over go in this stitch so it's a little bit hard to do but we'll do it okay so let's see again yarn over go in this stitch then pull through and then you're gonna have three three uh, threads here so you're gonna pull through two so you pull that one and pull the other two again okay so you will repeat the same pattern again so yarn over go here in the next stitch so you remember where we did in the back loops that's why we're doing and then pull through and pull through again okay so you're going to repeat the same pattern all around so yarn over do double crochet all around until you reach here where you started so it's the same thing you're gonna you'll do for the hands and this one too and here also I did double crochet all around here at the bottom uh, you can see I didn't do this yet you'll do the same thing here double crochet all around and then you're gonna your boy is gonna be complete thank you guys so much uh for watching this video i hope you enjoyed the pattern if you have any questions please comment on the uh ask in the comments below and then i'll try my best to answer it and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe i'm gonna be uploading every week um one video and i'll see you in the next video thank you bye